okay? Let's do this. What's going on guys? I'm Charlene Radlin and thanks for tuning in. For today's video, I am going to finally, finally answer questions that you guys have asked on a couple of videos that I've done in the past. More specifically, let's talk about the one style blow dryer. I have done a few videos on various types of the one style blow dryer and you guys have asked me so many questions and kind of repeated questions so i figured instead of going through every single one of them and answering every single one of them over and over again with the same answer why don't i just put together a video for you guys so you guys can watch and figure out some of the things that i've discovered since using the blow dryer and just answering your questions overall okay let's get into it Okay, before we jump in, I wanna to talk to you guys about a brand that actually is what's making the video happen today, and it is Ana Luisa. I have been wearing Ana Luisa's jewelry for over two years now. I love so many of their pieces, and I'm finally working with them, and I'm so excited. They have so many classic, beautiful pieces that I love and I wear every single day. One of the reasons why I love the brand is because they're very transparent about where their pieces are sourced. If you go on their website, there's actually a tab that explains everything on there. So if you're someone that has sensitive skin or sometimes has allergies to jewelry, they make sure that they inspect and test all of their pieces, so that way they're nickel-free, hypoallergenic, and just honestly safe to wear. They have an assortment of pieces and all of their gold is actually 14 karat gold plated. They also have gold plated sterling silver. If you guys are interested, then you guys can check out the link in the description. They're having a sale and it ends today, I believe. It's a Valentine's Day sale. So if you are wanna buy yourself, buy yourself a little treat for Valentine's Day, you absolutely can. It's buy one, get one half off. And I will have the link for you guys in the description. Okay, let's get back to the video. Okay, let's jump in and we are going to answer some questions. So number one, how long did it last? I'm having trouble with my straight hair lasting, especially in heat and humidity. My hair does get frizzy. My hair does get curly if I am in a humid climate. Just because I use the one step blow dryer, it doesn't mean that my hair doesn't frizz or you know, it just looks that voluptuous the entire day. It doesn't. Sometimes when it's really humid outside and I have my hair straight, I end up putting my hair in a bun until I get to my destination and then I just take it out, fluff my hair out and just hope that it, <laughs> that it stays and it just stays and does what it's supposed to do for a short period of time until I have to go. The one thing that I have found that helps me with frizziness is using a hot iron. So if I am going to some place that I know is going to be very humid, I'm going to be outside for a very long time, I will go in with um, an iron and just go out with my roots and then leave the ends because I do personally like how my ends look with the blow dryer. It has more of that curl that I would go in with a curling iron that I don't necessarily want to go in with a curling iron to begin with. So I just go in, use it on my roots and then call it a day and it will help prolong my hair being straight without the frizziness, but for only so long, right? If I'm outside the entire day and it's super humid out, chances are my hair is gonna be in a bun in like two, three hours. What about hair damage with the Revlon Plus? Does it damage your hair a lot? So talking about damage with the Revlon, it's a blow dryer, it has heat, and I'm stretching out my curl. If this is something that you're planning on using every single day, your hair will burn out. Your hair will get dry, your hair will get brittle. It's just what happens when you use hot air on hair in general. I personally don't blow dry my hair all that often because I want to preserve my curls. It's taken me a very long time to get, you know, my hair looking the way that it looks now because I have gone through so many years of heat damage and so on and so forth. So for me, I try to limit the amount of times that I use the blow dryer, maybe once every two, three months. I do use the blow dryer more during the winter months than I do during the summer months. And the reason for that is just because my blowout lasts longer. That's another question that people ask. How long does it last? How long does your blowout last? I am not a naturally sweaty person, so I actually don't really get a lot of oily scalp or anything like that. So my blowouts could last up to a week during the winter. And then during the summer months, maybe like three days. It all depends on how much I've been outside. It all depends on how much I've sweat. Uh, there's so many variables that go into it. Sometimes my hair through the winter could last me over a week, right? If I'm 
if I'm going outside and it's like 20 degrees outside and I'm not sweating, my hair, my blow out can last a really long time. I will touch it up in between the weeks. So I might go in with a little bit of dry shampoo just to freshen up the roots. But aside from that, my blowouts can last a pretty long time. So going back, I do, oh, now it's getting really bright. So going back, I do think that um, if this is something that you're planning on using every single day on your hair, might wanna hold off on that. Maybe go in with it every couple of weeks, right? Give your hair a little bit of chance to reset. Go in with a mask. There are some masks that I use that I religiously love. I will do that in a separate video as far as what masks I use on my hair and how I, you know, my favorite products that I've been using because there's a lot of new ones that I've been trying and I definitely want to share that with you guys. If you want to know, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get on that. Also making sure that my scalp is clean. That's also a very big thing. I've been noticing that there's a lot of buildup on my scalp so my hair might not grow as healthy or it might stunt certain things, you know. All of those things are taken to an account when I am blow drying my hair or I am using the blow dryer. I do feel like I need to go in with a little bit of a tutorial as to how I use my blow dryer. There were some people asking me in previous videos that their hair, it didn't, they didn't really have the outcome that I had when they used the blow dryer. One tip that I will give in this video is that make sure you're going in the same direction throughout your entire head and that really helps with the way that your hair will kind of blow out. What I mean by that is this. So here's the blow dryer. This is the Revlon, this is the second one. And what I like to do is to make sure that when I'm holding on to it and I'm grabbing the roots, I'm going in from the inside. Oh, I don't wanna ruin my curls. I go in from the inside and I am just kind of holding it for a little bit and then extending it, holding it for a little bit, then extending it. I'm basically trying to get the most out of that one section instead of going over it like a million times to just make sure that it blow dries the whole way through and it dries the whole way through and then I go in and I'm polishing it up. I don't know if that makes any sense and I will try to make another video. If you guys want to see how I do it in another video, let me know in the comments below. But that's kind of my method throughout the entire thing. I cut out a lot of how long it takes me to do a blowout for you guys when I'm recording it. So it sometimes looks or it can be perceived that all I did was just like brush through it and then it looks beautiful and all that kind of stuff. When in reality, it does take a little bit of time. It does take a little bit of patience. And it's something that I have had to learn while doing it over and over and over again. So it's like practice makes perfect. Now going in with the settings. Now there were some comments that actually from people that actually helped me out. When I was blow drying my hair the first time, I went in with medium heat and then I went to high heat because in my my mind that philosophy made a lot of sense I go in with a lower heat and then I blow dry it to a good amount and then I just go in and polish it there was a comment that actually said that you don't need to go in with medium heat why is the Sun going so bright right now give me a second okay that's a little better <laughs> Sun was like beaming so bright in my face okay so um, so I actually don't need to go in with medium heat and then go switch over to high heat. Someone basically said like, it's you're kind of doubling the amount of heat that you're putting on your hair and can be counterintuitive and then damage your hair. And that made a lot of sense to me. So since then, I have just going, been going in with, with high heat and just blow drying it and making sure that my hair isn't soaking wet. You don't want to make you want to make sure your hair is not that wet I really go in with some damp hair it takes me not even 30 minutes to do my hair I have less heat damage so those are some tips that I've realized throughout you know using the blow dryer and from you guys so thank you so much now one of the big questions is which one is my favorite that's a tough one but I'm gonna answer it and I'm gonna say it's the second edition of the Revlon. This is the one that has a detachable head. So it's this one here. It makes it easier to clean so that way you can just take this off, wash and rinse this off, and then you can wait until it's completely dry. And then that way you don't have to ruin the mechanics in here for the blow dryer, which is great because that was one of the things that I think in the first version, people were like, how am I supposed to clean this thing? It's getting gross. Help a sister out. Hello. This is also a really good one. I really enjoy the root booster because it gets the closest to my scalp. The problem that I have with the root booster is just that my hair I found was slipping out of it. 
So I almost had to like really hold on to the hair and go in with the root booster and like pull my hair, which I didn't really love after a period of time. Whereas with the second version of the Revlon, I was able to just like, just go in and just use it like a normal blow dryer, which I really, really like. Out of all of them that I'm ranking, I would say my favorite would have to be, I'm gonna do a little chart here. My favorite would have to be the first Revlon. Then the second one would be the root booster. The third one would be the hot tools. We use that one sometimes, but Honestly, I just kind of go with the second edition of this one. The, the, the last place to me is the T3 blow dryer. That one, that one didn't do anything for me. So which one would I recommend for somebody that has longer hair, shorter hair, etc.? Okay, I will say this. I think if you have short hair, and I mean like short, like up to here, I think this one would work great for you, the root booster, personally speaking. But it also depends on the type of curl that you have. If you have my kind of curl 3b 3c and less i think you can get and like straight i don't want to say less but if you have like straighter hair from going up like a so on and so forth you get what i'm trying to say i think the root booster would work perfectly for you if you are someone that has tighter curls you're gonna need a little bit more friction in there to hold it down for you you gotta go with this one because this one it's not gonna do anything for you. You're gonna be miserable. You're gonna be fighting with your hair and it's, just, it's gonna be a waste of time. You're gonna be like, what is going on? Why, why? Whereas this one, it will work it out for you. You'll be so happy. And I really hope that you try this out because it has been my life changer. It's been a game changer. It's been, ah. But if you have longer hair, even if you have 2A, 2B, 2C curls and you have longer hair, I think that you should just go in with the second edition of the Revlon. I think because it's got a bigger base here versus this, okay? It's gonna take more hair, less time for you to do it, and you'll get to the root because of the way like this one's designed or whatever. But I think that you'd be really happy with, with this one. If you're someone that has shorter hair, very silky, slippery hair, and you just want something to just go in and like do its thing and help you out, I think the root booster would be fine. That's just my personal opinion. Don't like claim, don't come at me if you're like, listen, the root booster didn't work. Like this is just my opinion. Okay, be nice. And then um, I think the last question I'm gonna answer is how do I maintain my curly hair? Again, I don't blow dry my hair all that often. I try to reduce the amount of heat that I use on my hair as far as stretching out my curls a lot and blowing it out. I make sure to use deep conditioners in my hair. I use a deep conditioner like every three days. I love deep conditioners, I'm always using them. I will leave some links down below of my favorite products that I've used, that I've been using um, for my curly hair. If you guys are interested, I'll talk about it in a separate video because I just wanted this to be focused on the blow dryers that I've used. And with that being said, I think that kind of wraps up a couple of the questions that I have gotten that have been repetitive. If you want me to answer any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm just gonna leave off by saying, be sure to check out Ana Luisa's jewelry. I genuinely love their stuff. Um, as I said, I've had, I have a few, so many of their pieces. I wear them all the time. I love their rings. I love their earrings. I believe in what they are also doing as far as like the environment. They're making sure that their jewelry is environmentally friendly. They want you to not only have trendy pieces, but also long lasting pieces that you can have in your jewelry kit for years on end. Be sure to check them out. They'll have a link for you guys down below so you guys can get some percentage off. They are having a Valentine's Day holiday sale. So you guys can check that out too. And then you'll have a code down below in the description. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys, see ya.